Hi guys, welcome to my channel and this is Chara. Today I am going to discuss how we can perform patch method by using a rest assured. So in previous video I already discussed what is the difference between patch and put method. So hopefully you understand the difference between patch and put. So let me once again just tell you about the put and patch difference. So put is used to modify the complete data which is stored in DB or any storage but patch is used to partially modification. We modify uh, by using patch we modify the data partially not are completely as we do put. So this is the basic I already shown you the difference uh, and by theory and by practical in my previous video so guys you do not watch that video go and watch so that is really helpful to understand this video right so let me open um, eclipse and create a new class file this is a patch method inside this I will create a main method and for main method I will create a one method which is a static patch method and here I have to import a rest assured so I will import a rest assured for importing rest assured I am using a static import from Java so that I will import all the method from rest assured now I will use a given after that I am ex accept my data in JSON after that my content type means I am sending my body in JSON type so I just mention that after that when request and this this the patch which I am using I have to add a here so before when I have to also send a body so for put and post and patch we have to send a body so I will send a body in a string okay and this is a patch method after that what type of body I have to send oh, let me open uh, this so in this I have to send a body so what I do I do not send a author here because I am just what I am what doing I just mm, doing a partially modification not a complete modification right so this is my patch body and what will be the request uri so this is the my request uri and after that i will what log the status and So this is my method and here I will use a patch method so I used a patch method over here so let me run first then we will see how it works right so I run this and we'll see okay so you can see I will get response code 200 okay and this is my request right so you can see here I do not pass author but when I use put then it removes the author from here because uh, 
input method is modify complete data but patch only modify partially data so here only title has been modified so let me change the title to any other auto mission and again i will run this so guys here i am not passing our author i just passing a title which i have to modify and let me just also remove this i only pass a title over here and see okay so i am just passing a automation title i am not passing id and author so see what will be the output as i am just using a partially modification by using a patch method so you can see the title automation is come here now i using a get so when i use a guess this is my previous response and this is my current response by using a same right now i'm using a post method right uh, put method so what will be the changes let me show you this also in this video okay i do not change anything i just take before i'm using a patch method now i'm taking a put method so you can see when i using a patch method then author is present here but now i will use a put method and i am not passing author name here then we will see what will be the response from the server to the client so you can see here the author has been disappeared because i do not use a author so let me use a get and you can see the author has been removed because in my body i do not pass author so put method modify complete data but patch method modify only partially data so this is the difference between patch and uh, put method so hopefully you understand this video thank you for watching this video bye bye check in